Welcome back guys, this is Jay. Uh, I got some updates regarding what the heck is going on and also just a little update on the new industry, the NASDAQ industry. Now before I talk about it, just want to say this video is not financial advice. However, I am going to tell you guys some uh, very degen play that I'm going to you know, do. And I'm going to hold on to this play or trade for the next two weeks, but I'm just letting you know what I'm doing, okay? It's not financial advice or anything. But yeah, let's get started. Actually, wait, before we talk about the Fed, I want to show you guys this one. A hand job from a deaf person counts as oral. <laughs> Until we meet again. Oh man, those two jokes. I was laughing harder a lot, a lot earlier, but anyways, yeah, you, you can have your laugh. All right, so here's the Fed. Um, their repos pretty much stay the same. And I also got an update on basically their presentation today from another YouTube channel called Gregor Manorino. Uh, the reason why I rely on experts like him is because, yo, I, I'm not used to reading what the heck, reading between the lines what the heck those guys are saying. I'm not finance savvy enough to do that yet. Um, but I do believe what that man is saying um, since they didn't really do shit today. According to him, um, like they didn't do a rate hike. Market started reacting to it in a negative way, started going down, but it also falls in line with uh, CME futures contracts ending this is it Friday. Yeah. So usually the very last Friday of the month, CME, their contracts expire. So usually what happens is we go down and <laughs> that's still expected. That, that play is moving, um, playing out. All right, let's see what the other things that are being affected. So here we have the dollar or the Dixie going up, and this is definitely going to put a lot of pressure in the market. Uh, in the morning, since the Fed showed up, we did get um, a slight boost up, but I do see us falling down from here, just based just on this one factor alone. Now let's take a look at another factor, which is the yield rate. So this going up is also going to put pressure in the market. Now, as to how much, I we don't fucking know. I don't even fucking know myself. We're just going to have to, like, watch the market, you know, be in a little bit more pain. But, yo, this market is not done from doing its shit yet, man. We still have yet to get that last pump, okay? So just hold on a bit longer. Um, they're they're going to do whatever it takes to, you know, emotionally bring us down as much as they can. So that way we move out. Remember, once you sell your position, that's when you actually lose. If you just hold on to your assets, you'll make it through. Like, I, I'm i in pain just as much as you are, okay? All right, here we we do have the crude oil price going up, um, which th this one will uh, basically prop up the market a little bit more. So I do see, like, a little seesaw battle going. The yield rate, Dixie, this one's kind of stale. It kind of, like, remained the same and the crude oil so since there's two factors i see involved when it comes to putting pressure in the market i do see us going down but this guy will make sure that it doesn't go down as much as much that's just my opinion okay it's not financial advice or anything all right now let's take a look at how the market responded to that yeah pretty much stay the same so i didn't really do much but earlier see that we went up Usually when the Fed is up or in TV, they want they want the market to be positive or looking positive because, yeah, they want to look good. That's just been my observation for the past two years that I've been paying attention to this market. And also Crypto Teacher uh, a lot gave me the knowledge and vision to, to see that guy, see the pattern. And it's been playing throughout. Um, let's see. So another thing to pay attention to is Tether, USDC. Binance USD. You can see some of it is still in the negative, so it could be like you know just doing trading. But keep in mind th these are lagging indicators. So that's it for that one. Now this guy is what I want to talk about. Thor Finance. So uh yeah, for the past week we have been steadily going up. They have been doing um some over the counter trades as well, so that allowed some ethical whales to basically purchase the things that they want without uh, affecting the price too much so that's a good thing 
Um, I do see a little bit. See, this is a little weird price action here. Here we have a, like a steady going up. See little fluctuations here and there. <laughs> but now it becomes super volatile. Look at that. Holy crap. So I guess people are just um, taking the rewards out and then buying, possibly uh, rebuilding their portfolio. That's that's my guess, okay? Um, so there's that. Let's talk more about well, what the heck's going on. So when it comes to Thor nodes, we are now 70,000 nodes uh, in total. That that also includes basically every single one, like Odin, Thor, Hindal, Freya. I can't really open a Discord right now because there's something happening with Discord. Um, but here's what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys this. So for the past month, I have been accumulating Thor for my Odin, and within a couple of days, I will have enough for another Odin. Uh, that is worth probably around like. 12 15k right now so my plan is to use that money to basically make a play on this one this guy so it, it, it's another nasdaq project right here this one is not even out yet uh the reason why i like this one is because i i like their what do you call it node model and also just the theme itself is very very catchy you know it's very it's catered towards you know, guys, also as de degenerates like me. <laughs> so, uh, from my understanding with their AMA is that uh, when they do launch on the 29th, the tokens will uh, be around like 30 to 50 cents or so initially. Now, keep in mind guys, people are going to buy, okay? So expect that coin price to go up. Now, what they are doing to basically stop the whales from being able to manipulate the market too much is that they are going to limit the purchase for the coin per wallet I think up to like a thousand dollars so you will have more than enough to acquire basically um, I think it's 2,000 100 nodes in total you need at least 20 playmates playmates is one coin okay and you need 20 of those to create a mansion. One mansion is basically a node and it produces one playmate a day. Now, once you reach a certain number of mansions, like I think it was 65, the rewards that you get will diminish. I mean, not diminish, um, will go down a bit. So what you do from there to maintain uh, your returns to be like at a steady rate is you gotta turn those mansions, 20 of them into a district. Uh, the, the rewards rate will go up a little bit and uh, it's really hard for me to explain to you guys you gonna you guys have to look into this project yourself and look at the uh, white paper see how it goes because the math involved uh, it, it kind of gets a little tricky to explain and I'm not really too much too much of a math whiz right now compared to let's say my cousin uh, so that way he explained it to me is that it's if you want a good strategy on this one accumulate enough to get 65 uh, mansions and then turn 20 of those into a district so that way you're capped at 45 mansions and then you you'll have one district so your goal overall goal is to acquire as many districts as you can and then the rest mansions and then in the future once this is out you know probably like a month later or probably a couple weeks they're gonna have this thing called a city basically a bigger node and you need districts for that so like this thing allows you to basically evolve your nodes okay that's something that the other projects have not are not doing yet or at least to my understanding i'm only in thor and power right now and uh yeah they haven't implemented a style like this so that's pretty cool now with their mansions guys uh, they're gonna implement the nft idea and <laughs> here's the cool part you get to have a party in the metaverse uh, inside their mansion so that's a cool thing and Whoever you invite, you earn passive income from that because they yo they gotta pay to get in. So it's kind of like going to a club; you gotta pay entrance and shit. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, this is on the Avax ecosystem as well, so you can use Trader Joe. So here's my plan: you don't have to follow me, okay? I'm gonna take that one month of accumulation and basically disperse it to buy this. 
I'm gonna have multiple wallets purchase it and I'm gonna play basically I'm gonna multiply it to the point where I can get more multiple Odins <laughs> so that way yo man I, I make more passive income from Thor alone then I'm gonna use uh, the excess that I get from it to uh, solidify my other positions such as Mobius Equilibrium games more smart lands uh, solo tokens um veracity and b pro now uh, guys th th those are just my plays okay you don't have to follow it because remember this this video is not all about financial advice this is just for um entertainment purposes okay i'm, I'm giving you a play-by-play -play for entertainment purposes of what i'm gonna do to possibly make myself some more money now that's it for that one um now uh, i i am involved in the discord as well well yesterday i was quite a lot and they're in the they're in talks with loki loki is one of the community managers for multiple projects more specifically in thor right now and they're thinking of joining the u union of transparency alliance which is good it adds more credibility to the project and what that does is and they get to show like and share information amongst each other as well and another thing that i love about these projects right now, the NASDAQ projects, is that they're very, very community driven. Okay, they actually ask their community, like, yo, where they want the investments to be in. And yes, since it is a very early project, guys, um, it is high risk as well. Like, anything can happen. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, these projects basically came out after the Ring thing or Ring uh, collapsed. The devs just dipped out because, I don't know, I guess too much pressure for them. And, yeah, looking over the a AMA, it seems like they have a very solid team. Um, they've already done their KYC. They've been doxxed. Uh, I think they they just recently finished their audit as well for their coding. Um, they're just not out yet, okay? They're going to be out this 29th. But there is a possible chance that, you know, it could extend a little bit more. Possibly next month. You never know. Okay, anything can happen in this uh, new industry. Now, that is my play. Okay, you don't have to follow it. Um, I do want to get over this right here. This is a very important topic right now. Um, so, for those of you that are in Canada, the U.S., and possibly in other countries as well, um, you know, the pandemic has pretty much put a halt in the supply chain. And right now, these truckers are protesting against the mandate that, you know, Justin Trudeau started. And the mainstream media is basically painting it so that very less truckers are going. Um, they're also making it so that the, the public thinks that the protest is all about anti-vaccination. No, that's, that's not even true. They're all about the anti-mandates. I mean... Um, there's some truckers there too that took the shots and they're protesting. And you know, the beauty about this is that it's not just Canada. Um, there's some truckers in the States that are joining as well. Uh, it's probably going to take them like a week or two to mobilize to get to Ottawa. And they're still in the process of moving right now. I saw certain posts in social media saying that within a week, they should be in Ottawa to protest. And this is very, uh, what do you call it? History making right here because from what I've seen is or from other headlines is that it's the longest or the biggest uh, protest in Canadian history, but the media will make you think it's otherwise. Now, look at this headline right. It's so deceiving. This guy vaccine mandate for truckers not causing food shortage, empty shelves. That's what they want the uh, sheeps to think. But come on, man. Who do you think delivers the food and goods towards the supermarkets and also also these stores? It's the truckers. So like if they're not able to move stuff around because a good majority of them don't want the the you know the shot, what do you think that's gonna do to the shipping industry, man? Come on, think about it. Now uh, let's look at take a look at the other one. National Truckers Group to denounce highway protest by anti. See, just saying this alone just puts a bad light on the whole idea, but it's mainly just this. It's the mandates, man. 
uh, there are a lot of truckers right now and well what's happening is that um, once they reach a certain destination like a major intersection there's people there like lining up rooting for them I see it all over social media but uh, it gets taken down I see hundreds join truckers convoy to protest dangerous conditions on BC highway uh, so yeah of course if you got a lineup or a convoy of truckers going in of course it's gonna cause some traffic but like you know that lets people know it's the only way to like get them to understand yep BC again oh, okay now here's another thing that you guys gotta be aware of so they someone created a GoFundMe page to basically support these guys they created I mean they've gained enough to like make millions uh, however the GoFundMe uh, website is withholding their funds see that they're just slowing down the movement man they're doing what what they can do to basically stop this from occurring because you know they want to destroy the economy that's the whole plan they want people to be in pain so that way they give in to whatever the, it is that the government wants them to have and it's gonna be a whole QR code on uh, a CBDC thing uh, if you can't see the connections yet, it's okay. It'll eventually get there as more and more people talk about it in the background. Uh, I don't see a lot of people talking about it on social media because the TV is not telling them to do, to talk about it. I mean, like when Black Lives Matter was on, yo, the whole social media platform was basically talking about it. But what happened now? Where are they at? It just goes to show that, yo, these people, they are so like, advocates a bunch of other crap not really advocates of the most important things what do you think is going to happen when all these people go hungry people are going to start looting they're going to start stealing other things they're going to cause chaos you guys need to understand that because when that happens and you're not prepared you can't fight back what do you think is going to happen to you so it's important now that you know you become aware of this we see through their place or like mainstream media plays and do whatever we can to support uh, one another. You know, support the truckers and also like support yourself as well. I've been fortunate enough to basically have the knowledge to foresee this and happening. Now I'm not saying I'm fully prepared for it. I do I do believe, however, that I am in much better position than the majority of the people because of the things that I've made in crypto. I'm not saying I'm the fucking richest here, but I do have enough passive income to help me get through. And yeah, I just wish other people could, you know, take the risk as well. Because I honestly, even though I see these uh, new industry as a, a big risk, trying to keep your job is the biggest risk. Because like, yo, what what's gonna happen is that uh, automation, robots are gonna take over everything. You're gonna lose your job regardless. Okay, it's, it might take months, it might take years. But one thing you guys are going to understand is that every single industry is going to get hit with artificial intelligence to replace people bit by bit. It's not even a joke. It's not even a um, conspiracy theory anymore. We see jobs being replaced. We see robots just coming out or being hired to take on roles that humans used to have in restaurants. Um, now, the whole trucking thing, too. Funny thing is that uh, the truckers, even though they're the ones, you know, moving stuff around. Don't be surprised if automation starts moving in. They're going to start, yeah, start replacing that. There's already articles about it at, that I read last year of these big companies already talking about having automation. Walmart even talked about it. I mean, it was speaking about it. And yeah, that's what's going to come, man. This is what the whole problem is about. They create the problem. Now we're reacting. They're going to run in with a solution. But first... They're gonna make the people pay for or like um, give them a lot of pain. That's because not, not not everyone's standing up, man. So like you guys gotta stand up, yo. Because if this happens here, it's gonna happen here. Oh, it's actually happening everywhere else, man. <laughs> it, it doesn't happen all at once. It happens step by step, okay. Um. Anyways, guys, that is all I have. Um. I do see the Nasdaq industry um holding up, holding their ground. While everything else is dying or slowly taking them, as you can see, this is proof alone. Now, let me show you guys another one just to uh, prove to you guys.
Power Nudes. Same industry. I used to think of them as uh, Thor 2.0, but they, they've actually done some stuff to differentiate themselves from Thor. Um, that is, uh, they, they have this governance token called Energy now. The only way for you to acquire it is to be staking not only the Power Coin, but also a bunch of other coins available as well in the staking pools. And you get energy and rewards. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, now compared to Thor. Ooh, look at that. Now compared to Thor, um, you know, they're not as advanced yet. Uh, most of the community is in Thor right now. Because that's because Thor is leading the way. And Thor pretty much helped power with their coding as well. Uh, so, but just based on this chart, all I'm seeing is just higher lows being made. Now, I wish I could like draw a line for you guys here. I think I can do that. But I do see this going up a little bit more. FTM is having issues right now. Like people can't move their FTM to the Phantom chain. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on. I'll, I don't know how long that's going to last. But once that issue is out of the way, I do see power just ripping it, man. That's the only thing that's slowing us down right now. Is that not many people can acquire the power tokens. Because the FTM network is fucked up. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, I will try to make more videos today. I have not been doing that for the past couple of days. All right, take care.